Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a loft try-on haul to share with you guys. I picked up some new pieces recently that would be great for spring and summer. Loft is always running a really good sale. I'll link their current promotion and coupon code down in the description box below. But I also wanted to mention they are doing their first ever warehouse sale. So if you sign up for their emails, you can actually access their warehouse sale and items are up to 80% off. So I wanted to mention that. I also have another recent loft try on haul. I'll link here for you to watch after this one if you're looking for more loft outfit ideas for spring and summer. If you love fashion videos and styling tips and tricks, please do subscribe to my channel. I make videos every week. And if you're looking for any of the items that I feature in this video, they will all be linked in the description box down below. So the first outfit is so my style. These pleated shorts, I love them so much. They're so stretchy and comfortable, honestly, like, very stretchy <laughs> in case you needed that demonstration um but they are just so flowy i love the pleats and they almost give you the illusion that you have on like a short mini skirt but they are a short i actually love them enough i purchased them in black yes you heard that correctly i bought them in black i felt like the silhouette was still very feminine enough to work in my wardrobe so i'm excited to kind of style those for you guys but I've of course, I think my favorite is the pink. I think these can be dressed up or down. If you wanted to wear them with like a basic tee and kind of knot it or a denim jacket and make it more casual, you can. But here I dress it up just a little bit with this floral top. The shoulder has a really sweet little detail where it has bunch fabric and it gives you the illusion of a puff sleeve, but it's really not over exaggerated by any means. For my shoes, I paired it with these adorable bow slide-on sandals. They're very comfortable. I love the linen and gold flex material, and they do run true to size. So that is the first outfit from Loft. We're definitely getting off to a really good start with this look. So now I wanted to dress the shorts down just a little bit. I paired it with this white it's kind of like a basic top, but it's definitely a lot more adorable and has a little more detail than a basic top. It has a eyelet cutout and then this adorable scallop detail at the shoulder. To make it look a little more casual, I did do a knot tie here. If you haven't seen my fashion hacks video or if you wanna see how I do that, I'll link my fashion hacks video here. You could definitely tuck it in, but I feel like the tie makes it look a little more casual. And I just wanted to show you guys that option in case you wanted to see how else you can style it. So for those of you who have the Walmart bow slides, I also wanted to style them with those. In case you already had them, because there is a polka dot print, I wasn't gonna pair it with the last top. Also I wanted to point out one thing with the shorts, they are very flowy, so, you know, I would be acting ladylike if you were wearing them, because if not, you could potentially have like a, you know, wardrobe malfunction. So if you're bending over, I would probably like squat down like a lady, you know? Cause otherwise your booty might come out of them. All right, so you can see how this shirt looks when it's not tied. Here it is with some basic denim shorts. These are from Loft. I will have a jean short video coming up at the end of the month where I bought a bunch of different brands and I'll be trying them on and reviewing them for you guys. I did a very casual front tuck in these just to keep my shape. And then here is what the top looks like without it being tucked. I also wanted to point out for those of you who are a little bit chestier, you may not enjoy this piece just because there is a seam right through the top of your chest. I am wearing a strapless bra and it does have like a baby doll sort of fit. So may not be the best option if you do have a larger chest. I paired it with this clear bag from Walmart. I love this thing. It does come with a longer strap that you can wear across body. You can also take the pouch out if you want a full on clear bag. And then for sandals, I paired it with the Tory Burch Millers. These are my most worn sandal. If you want to learn more about them, I will link my review to them down below. Also, I wanted to quickly mention this dupe for the Tory Burch Millers if you're looking for something much more affordable. These are currently on sale for $32.99, and I would recommend to size up at least a half size. I got my normal size, but I wish I had a little extra room. They also come in eight different colors as well if you're looking for more variety. So next we have this adorable floral jumpsuit. I feel like this print is a mix between floral and paisley. It kind of has a little bit of both styles put into it. I am wearing my normal size small. I would definitely say get your normal size because I feel like this fits a little bit smaller than 
smalls typically do at Loft for me. I paired it casually with a crossbody bag. I'll link a couple different options for you guys down below. I feel like crossbody bags are my most worn bag by far. What kind of style do you typically carry? Do you like totes, big bags, small bags? Let me know down below. I feel like I need a little more variety with my handbags to share with you guys in upcoming videos. So if there are certain ones that you wanna see, let me know. I dressed it up very slightly with this ruffled sandal heel. It's definitely still more on the casual side, but I do like how the heel adds a teeny bit of height since these are a little bit flowier and a little longer. I would definitely keep your shoe option with an open toe just so it doesn't cut you off because of the length. For reference, I am 5'5", but I feel like the length would work well even if you are petite because you have a little bit of ankle room to play with. If you wanted to, you could also dress it up even more like with something like this. These have been on sale a lot recently, but I feel like that would be a good shoe option to style it with it as well. Also these blush sandals, because there is a little bit of pink in the shoe. I probably wouldn't style it with either of these just because they are a little chunkier and with the length of the jumpsuit, I want to keep it a little bit lighter on the bottom. So if you're a teacher or you're looking for ways to make this more work appropriate, depending on obviously the setting that you work in, not everyone can wear this to work, but you could also throw over a denim jacket as well. This one is from Walmart. I feel like the smocking is a little, I wouldn't say it's snug or too small, but it is a little more compressive than other smocking. So I feel like that would help with some support if you wanted to go with something like a sticky bra underneath. Next is this casual, colorful dress. I don't think this is gonna be something that I keep just because I'm not a huge fan of the length, but I can see why some people would love it because of the length. So I still wanted to share it. I can definitely picture this at the beach or something like that. I think I actually like the print better in person than I did online. I really wasn't sure how it was gonna read, but I do like all of these colors paired together. It's kind of like I guess it's technically a floral print in a way. The straps on this one are pretty much the same as the jumpsuit, although they do feel a little bit longer. The straps on the jumpsuit fit perfectly, but I, I it was almost like they're on the verge of being too short. They were totally fine, but these definitely have a little extra room compared to those, to the last piece. I feel like if you do have a baby bump, you could definitely wear this for a little while, probably not towards the end, just because there is a seam right through here, but it is stretchy, which I like. I don't really typically like seams that low that are, like I just find that they feel a little restrictive, but this one does not, and it's just a very flowy fit. So it hits right at what I would say like my joint line is, or right below my knee. So definitely a little bit longer than I would personally like, but if you need longer dresses for work or that type of thing, Totally would be a good option for you. It almost seems like it goes a little bit longer in the back as well. Not too high low or anything, but it dips down just a little bit. I paired it with the neutral sandals from Walmart just to show you guys how they look on. And this color pretty much goes with everything. So here are the black pleated shorts. They are definitely a little bit harder to tell they are shorts. And the pleats are also a little more hidden just because... I feel like black is always a little harder to show on camera, but I paired it with the, I actually bought this same tee in a peachy color in my last haul, and I just love peplum fits like that and knew I would wear it a lot, so I also picked up the olive green. I feel like it'd be really cute with the hat behind me, so I'm actually gonna pop that on real quick. Definitely a big fan of the hat. Just something about it. It does have a black, um, tie around it as well. So I feel like that ties in really well with the shorts. So this top is actually like peplumed, but the shorts come up high enough to where it doesn't get awkward or anything. And I think it has a very flattering fit through the shoulders. And then I paired it with the bow sandal slides from earlier. So because I don't necessarily have a black purse, I wouldn't be scared to pair this with a brown crossbody. For one, I love black and brown together. When I do wear black, it's typically kind of drawn together with animal print or something like that. So I'm not against wearing black and brown together, but I would probably pair it with my light YSL crossbody or something like that. 
So surprisingly, this is one of my favorite outfits so far from the haul. Um, I always like to get y'all's feedback as well. So if you have a favorite, let me know down in the comments. And just so you guys can see what the shirt actually looks like, it has this really cute peplum detail. I think it comes in three colors. This is the green, they have a peachy, kind of orangey pink, and then also a gray as well. But I love anything with a peplum detail, so. Next is this adorable bow pink jumpsuit. I have on the four, I would say it definitely runs really big. I just have a lot of extra room throughout the entire jumpsuit and it's kind of hanging off of me. I could probably adjust the straps a little bit, but I feel like I actually need to size down to the two in this one. However, I think the pant legs are just way too, I don't know, they're pretty big, not gonna lie. It almost looks like a dress if you have your feet standing together, but I think they're just too long for me and a little overwhelming on my frame. I think this would work great if you were taller and need that length, but for me, I would prefer if it was a little more cropped. I think that would just be more flattering on my figure. So I definitely had to pair it with a heel, otherwise I looked five inches shorter than I actually am. The top has a really, really cute little tie detail. Again though, it's just too big. It definitely needs to be like a little more fitted through here and I think that would help kind of balance out the volume on the bottom half. It also does come down a little bit lower depending on what you're comfortable with. This is unfortunately a fail. I thought it was adorable, but maybe the size down would be a better fit for me overall. I think it would just need a little more work than I'm willing to put into it as far as alterations. Oh my goodness, you guys, we are ending on such a good note. I know y'all are going to absolutely love this next dress. I am wearing the two. It fits perfectly. I feel like at Loft, I can wear a two or a four. The two is a little more restrictive through the waist. Is this just not the most adorable little pale pink dress? It has a very flattering A-line shape has a little ruffle detail at the bottom and it has like a linen type material. It's actually very similar to another pink dress that I shared with you guys, but the sleeves are not as dramatic. It's actually right here. This one from Endless Rose. This one's obviously a little more pink, but it's a very similar type of dress. I paired it with something a little more casual. You can definitely dress this up. I think it'd be absolutely adorable for church or some sort of shower, that type of thing. It just fits really well through the chest. And then, you guys, are you ready for this? It has the cutest little bow tie detail in the back. So I also have a Chanel flat dupe to share with you guys from Loft. At the time of filming, it is unfortunately sold out, but I still wanted to share in case they happen to restock. They sold out before I even got them in the mail, which I kind of figured they would, honestly, because they are so similar to Chanel. It's this beautiful pair of ballet flats with the classic kind of two-tone cap toe look that you would get at Chanel. So I have tried on the Chanel flats and they do cover a lot more of your foot than these do. These give you a little bit of toe cleavage just because they are a little bit shorter, but I absolutely love this nude color. It's very light, a little bit of a pink undertone and they are very similar for much, much less. So I would love if they happen to restock, but in case they don't, if I can find anything else similar to this, I will also link those for you guys down below. So now I wanna share my favorites from this haul with you guys now that I've tried everything on. I do have four to mention. I try to do top three, but it seems like lately I always end up with four. And I try to pick these based on how versatile I think the items are, obviously the quality and how much I think I'm gonna wear them. Um, a lot of times like my favorite pieces aren't the most practical because I love really girly things, <laughs> but I try to take all of that into consideration. Number four would be the dress that I'm currently wearing. It is right up my alley. I love the color and I think the fit on it is so flattering. I love the A shape, but it really draws in your waist and the puff sleeves are on trend, but they're also not too overwhelming either. And I just think it has a really good fit. And if you have the right occasion for it, I think it's a very cute option. Coming in at number three would be this green basic tee. I just know how much I reach for these in my wardrobe when I'm just wanting to be comfortable, but you know, out of a sloppy t-shirt at home, I'll wear these, but I also reach for them a lot when I'm running errands and that type of thing. And this is a color that I love to wear, but I actually don't have a ton of it in my wardrobe. 
and I just love anything with a peplum detail. So I know this is a very practical piece to add to my wardrobe, so that's why it is number three. Number two would definitely be the bow slides. I love anything with a bow. I can honestly never have enough bows in my wardrobe. And I have actually already worn these a good amount considering I haven't even had them a week. I wore them on Mother's Day. You may have seen them in my house tour. I was wearing them around the house. That was actually my first time wearing them. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. And then I also wore them, I think yesterday actually, out and about for errands as well. I'm currently touching them on the bottom in a place that has not touched the ground because I hate touching shoes. But yeah, these I can already tell I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. And I think they're neutral and are going to go with a lot of things in the spring and summer. My number one favorite pick from this Tran haul would definitely be the pleated shorts. These are so comfortable and I love that they're a little more dressed up than like a jean short or that type of thing. They are so comfortable and I feel like I can style these a lot of different ways. I love them enough. I actually picked up two obviously. So I feel like it's no surprise that this is my number one favorite pick from the haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed these outfits from Loft. I'll also link right here another recent Loft haul that I've done if you want to see more picks from Loft. Those should still be in stock or on really good sale right now. And then like I mentioned too, they are doing their warehouse sale. So I would definitely browse that if you want to put your email in. Up to you. I actually, fun tip, have a shopping email because I hate getting a ton of emails. So I actually have like a junk email that I send all my shopping stuff to. That way it doesn't clutter up my inbox. So there's a little tip for you guys if you haven't done that yet. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are doing well. I have a lot of content coming up, a lot of try and hauls. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to be notified when I upload a video, I do anywhere from two to three videos a week. You can subscribe and hit that notification bell and that will alert you so you don't miss any of my try and hauls. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.